Now find the gradient between the points P minus 3, 4 and Q, 5 minus 3. So we've got P minus 3, 4 and Q, 5 minus 3. If we label this one x1, y1 and this one x2, y2, then the gradient M will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So using the coordinates here, so it'll be minus 3, so again we've got to be careful with brackets and things, minus 4 divided by 5 divided by minus 3, so it's minus minus 3. So what we do now is we do work that out, so we give be minus 7 minus 3 minus 4 divided by 5 minus minus 3 which is 8. So what does that actually mean? Well if we draw our set of axes and we plot the first point minus 3, minus 3 up 4, so it would be that point there, and the other point will be 5 along and 3 down, that point there, we join them up, we will see the line slopes the other way. If this time, when you draw your triangle in, you draw it across the top. So, drawing our triangle in, again, we'll label that point N. And we can see that this is 8 along, but because this is going downwards, we say it is minus 7. And that's why the gradient is minus 7 over 8. So, the gradient that slopes that way is negative. So in summary, then, a gradient which goes this way is said to be positive, and a gradient which goes this way is said to be negative.